Well, if you haven't been living under a rock for the last 20 years, you know what Keyshot is. And I use Keyshot all the time. I think it's awesome. I do videos with it all the time. But now they came out with Keyshot 8, and that is a whole different ballgame. Let's check it out. So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at one of the functions that I think is really cool, and that is the cutaway function in Keyshot 8. But before we do that, here are a couple of impressions of things you can do as well, and most of them are brand new, so check it out. Okay guys, well we're in Keyshot 8.0 Pro and what I want to look at today is the new cutout or cutaway function. I think that's pretty cool, um, especially if you are working on something technical or let's say a product visualization or anything like that, it can come in handy for sure. Now it's not that difficult to do, so what I'm going to do is load up a, a model that I did a long time ago. I'm just going to go up to File and Import, and this is a part of an engine, or at least uh, something that should look like an engine. Bring that in, and I'm going to go to my Materials tab, and I'm going to simply uh, put on some materials. Uh, let's see, the uh, green rings up there, I'm going to apply a uh, rubber material to that. Let's go in. I'll uh, make them red, why not? Cool, there you go. And then we're gonna go into our metal section and let's find something cool for the rest of the engine. So we've got stainless steel, why not? Let's bring that in, let's zoom out a little bit and we'll put that on the most parts of the engine, link material, that's fine. We'll do slightly different materials on the other sections just to break that up a bit. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, that's not what this video is about. So let's see what else we got. I'll put this on here and then we got one more to go. And it really doesn't matter that much for this purpose, okay? So we got that. Now, um, to make the cutaway look good, we kind of need to prep the scene a little bit for what it would look like if you were ready to render. So let's uh, quickly do that. So I'm gonna go into the environment. Uh, I want some ground reflections, why not? Makes it looks cooler. Back plate, let's go in. Concrete wall as a backdrop. Uh, no, that's too uh, fussy, I would say. Let's go to the studio here and just do a normal backdrop. Okay, that's fine. And okay, and then for our environment, we need to find some lighting. Uh, let's try something that's a bit dark. And that's a bit too shiny. Just to bear with me, guys. Just get something that will work for us. It's all fairly dark. We'll find something. Okay, this is fine. Like I said, I don't want to spend too much time on it. Okay, so let's say we're ready to go, right? And you can spend hours on this, but I don't want to do that. Okay, so for the cutaway, uh, what you want to do is you want to create a tool or a prop or a piece of geometry that will act as your cutting tool, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Edit, Add Geometry, and I'm going to select the cube. Now, once I do that, I get my gizmo that will allow me to move it around uh, by using the arrows and I can use the, uh, the square in the middle to scale it. Uh, if this is turned off right here, you won't see it. So make sure it's turned on and then I can go in and scale that up. Okay. Now, when I move that cube around, obviously nothing is happening with my uh, engine. However, if I double click on the material that's applied to the cube, go in and go to type material diffuse and change that to cutaway all the way down here the uh, cube is no longer visible however when i move that cube into my engine model here it will start to cut away 
And I don't know if you guys can see that okay, but it's starting to cut away pieces of my engine and I can move it over here. And as I move forward, you'll see what happens. Now, the best way to see this is to go into these properties right here. Whenever you cut away a piece of a model, it will basically uh, leave a black gap. Now you've got a couple of options. No caps, which will leave you with this. And I'll try to get in a bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so uh, no caps. You can have uh, inherit caps, which will basically just close off that material with the same material that it already had. Uh, if you want to make a very distinct cut so people can see exactly what has been cut open, you can use a collar, and I would definitely prefer that. And I'll show you what happens when you move around the cube here. Uh, let's just uh, bring that in. You'll see sections cut away there. Let's try this, and you can see that that is really cool. Let's bring that into our cylinder here. You see that? Kind of cool. Okay, so that's what you can do. Uh, or you can use a material. So let's say the, uh, you use stainless steel for the engine and you want to have, um, I don't know, a different material uh, on the cutaways. You can do that as well. So that's how simple it is. Now this is one of my first uh, dabbles in um, uh, Keyshot 8. I'm gonna be doing a lot more tutorials, uh, so stay tuned. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please let me know in the comments what you want me to cover in Keyshot 8, okay? Well, thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.